Grammar Girl here. I'm Mignon Fogarty, and today's episode of Grammar Girl is about something special. I'm sharing a preview of a Stitcher original podcast called LeVar Burton Reads, hosted by none other than the legendary storyteller LeVar Burton. If you love words and language, you probably also love a good story, and this show is full of amazing stories you won't want to miss. Every week on LeVar Burton Reads, you'll be engrossed in a piece of beautiful short fiction handpicked by LeVar himself. You'll hear fantasy and sci-fi, comedy and westerns, and so much more. And the stories featured come from legendary authors like Octavia Butler, Neil Gaiman, Ursula K. Le Guin, and Ray Bradbury. Plus, LeVar's narration is unmatched, and every episode features beautifully immersive soundscapes that completely engross you in the world of the story. Season 4 just premiered with a full slate of brand new stories, and you can jump into any episode from seasons 1, 2, and 3, too. Just search for LeVar Burton Reads in your podcast app, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And now, here's a preview. Hey, y'all. LeVar Burton Reads is back for an all-new season now. This season, we'll travel back in time for some supernatural history. We'll spend some time in a dojo, and we'll even explore UFOs and making first contact. We're also going to revisit that moment in childhood where the ordinary blurs with the extraordinary. Your daily life will seem light years away. And one of the stories that we have coming up is an incredible narrative about the alchemy of a miracle. It's by the Kane Prize-winning and Nigerian-American author Tope Falloran. Here's a sneak peek. We need miracles. We murmur as the two men help him to the front. And in this charged atmosphere, everything about him makes sense. Even the irony of his blindness, his inability to see the wonders that God performs through his hand. His blindness is a confirmation of his power. It's the burden he bears on our behalf. His residence in a space of perpetual darkness has only sharpened his spiritual vision over the years. He can see more than we will ever see. When the old man reaches the pulpit, his attendants turn him around so he's facing us. He's nearly bald, A few white hairs cling precariously to the sides of his shining head, and he's wearing a large pair of black sunglasses. A bulky white robe falls from his neck to the floor. Beneath, he's wearing a flowing white agbada. He remains quiet for a few moments. We can feel the anticipation building breath by breath in the air. He smiles. Then he begins to hum. A haunting, discordant melody. The band leader tries to find the tune among the keys of his piano, but the old man slaps the air, and the band leader allows the searching music to die. He continues to hum, and we listen to his music. Suddenly, He turns to our left and points to a space somewhere in the ceiling. I demand you to leave this place, he screams. And we know there is something malevolent in our midst. (laughs) I can't wait for you to hear the rest of this story and to experience the rest of what we have planned for you this season. LeVar Burton Reads is back for an all-new season right now, so subscribe in Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen.